Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Welcome to Tricks for Maths. I hope you have seen videos on how to find out a square of a number using two different tricks. Using crisscross method as well as using a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. That means the formula method we have learned. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and you will get all the videos on Vedic mathematics to solve various type of problems in mathematics. And you will get the videos on grade 10 mathematical content also. In this video, we are learning the same formula method we are extending, but we are going to learn two more formulas to find out square of a number. a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. As well as we know other formula, a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Using these two formula, how we are going to get the square of a number. That we will learn today. So don't skip. Please stay with me. And you are going to learn a very new and very easy trick regarding square of a number. In the beginning, I am going to take a minus b the whole square formula. We know a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So as our first example, I am taking 56. So we need to find out the square of 56 now. 56 square is nothing but I need to rewrite this 56 right we have learned that in a plus b the whole square so it should be in the form of something minus something okay if I consider 56 the nearest multiple of 10 okay for 56 is that is 60 okay if we take base 10 then only it will become very easy to find out the square so I am making it 60 minus 4 that gives me 56. So there is no change in the value. I just rewritten 56 as 60 minus 4 square. Now it is in the form of a minus b the whole square. So now I can solve just by substituting these values in the place of a and b. Okay. So a square is nothing but 60 square. 60 square minus 2 into a into b is 2 into 60 into 4. Right? 2 into 60 into 4. Then plus b square is nothing but plus 4 the square. Plus 4 square. Now we can solve this. Right? 60 square is nothing but 6 square and 2 more zeros on the right hand side. Right? So that is 36 0 0. This is 3600 is a square of 60 minus 2 into 60 into 4. 4 2 is 8. 8 6 is 48. So 48 and this 0. That means 480. And the last one 4 square is 16. Correct? Now it is very easy to solve. First we are going to subtract and then we will add 16. Okay, so 3600 minus 480, you can go for a usual subtraction or you can go for Vedic mathematical trick only. That is nothing but last from 10 and all from 9. I hope you have learned this method. You can get this video in my channel only. Just I will show for your convenience. Okay, once again, 3600 minus 480, we are doing okay so 0 0 i will write as it is now 10 minus 8 is 2 and it becomes 5 5 minus 4 is 1 and 3 okay so 3120 is the answer here for these two 3120 plus 60 you can directly do here only okay so it is 3120 plus 10 is 30 and 6 36. So, this is the square of 56. We will consider one more example and we will learn how to solve using this formula very easily. Now, let me consider 991. Okay, I am taking here three digit number. So, how will you use this formula? First, we need to rewrite, right? 991. So, we are finding the square. How can be written 991? 
1000 okay minus 9 I am going to write like this because its nearest multiple of 10 is 1000 only for 991 and 9 is the difference okay so there is no change in the value 1000 minus 9 is nothing but 991 so now I am expanding this using the formula a square is 1000 square minus 2 into 1000 into b is 9 and then b square is 9 square okay now 1000 square it's very easy just write 1 because 1 square is 1 and there are 3 zeros put 6 zeros okay you are doubling that 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and then minus 2 into 1000 into 9 9 to the 18 18 after that you will put three zeros okay so 18 1 2 3 this is the product and plus 9 square is 81 now you are going to subtract okay so 10 lakh minus 18,000 okay I am going to write three zeros 1 2 3 then you are going to subtract this 8 from this okay 10 minus 8 is 2 and it becomes 9 okay 9 minus 1 is 8 and then here it is 9 okay and then plus 81 you can directly subtract and then add and then you can write or you can go for another step 9 lakh 82,000 0 81 that means 81 so this is the square of 991 I hope you found it very easy let us go for one more formula okay which gives the method to find out the square of a number please try the same formula for more numbers so the formula says a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b but how you are going to find out a square of a given single number using this formula because you are observing two variables and which is having a square in its formula right so I can rewrite this formula as a square equals to the same thing on the right hand side a plus b into a minus b and this minus b square goes to right hand side just by putting plus sign here okay so plus b square now we are finding a square of a number let me consider any number I can replace that number in the place of a right but I will be with another variable b which is unknown variable size like that right so how will you solve let us consider one example and then we will go for that okay I will take here 27 okay so I am finding 27 square but I can replace this 27 in the place of a only okay yes that is 27 plus b because I don't know the value of b and a minus b is 27 minus b plus b square as it is now we need to assume a value for b but how should it be can I write anything in the place of b yes so we know if we consider the multiple of 10 which is near to the given value our example will be very easy right so I am taking here 3 okay in the place of b why I am taking 3 because if I put 3 here okay in the place of b it becomes 30 30 means I can consider only 3 and then I can put 0 it will be very easy while doing this multiplication right so I am taking 3 how will you guess it just consider this value and find out the nearest mm -hmm. multiple of 10 so for this it is 30 that means I added 3 to 27 to get 30 right so that 3 I will replace in the place of B 27 plus 3 and then 27 minus 3 plus 3 square okay this much I got now I can go for solution right so 27 plus 3 is 30 and it is multiplied by 27 minus 3 is 24 
plus 3 square is 9. It is very easy. Now I can go for multiplication. 3 4 is 12. So 1 is carry over and 3 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 and that 0. This 0. Okay. So 720 I got plus 9. So my final answer is 729. Very easily I have found it. Please cross check this also. Okay. Let us take one more example and we will find out how which number I can take in the place of B for a given number. Let me consider 82. So the value of A is 82 here. I am finding 82 square. Now I can substitute the values of A. 82 plus B. 82 minus B plus B square. Now what will be the value for B? Let me take here 2. Why I am taking 2? If you go for 2, then it will become 82 minus 2. That gives you 80. Okay. Any one of the number will become the nearest multiple of 10. Okay. For 82. So, I am going to put a 2 in the place of B. Okay. I hope you have understood how to assume the value for B. Okay. Now, 82 plus 2. 82 minus 2 plus 2 square. Okay. I can consider 8 also because if I take 8, no, 82 plus 8 becomes 90. That can also be done. But in the place of B square, 8 square should be done. 2 square is very easy than 8 square. So you can consider any value. Here, 82 plus 2 is 84 multiplied by 80 plus 4. I will directly write, okay, 8 4 is 32, so I will write 2 here and 3 is carry over, 8 and size 64 plus 3 is 67, this plus 4, okay, now it is 676 is the square of 82. Let us take one more example that is of 3 digit number, I am considering 109 here, okay. It is little tricky, so I am taking this number. 109 can be written as, square can be written as 109 plus B into 109 minus B plus B square. Okay, now you are thinking we can take 1 because 109 plus 1 becomes 110. But if you take 110, so in that number there will be two different digits. Only one zero you will get. So, what I am doing, I will take 9 only, okay, instead of uh, 1. So, it will become 109 plus 9, okay, and 109 minus 9 plus 9 square. Now, it is 9 plus 9 is 18, so 118 you will get 118 multiplied by it is 100. So now I hope you got it is very easy. No need of even multiplication. You can directly directly write 118 double zero, right? Okay. So plus 9 square is 81. You can go for 118 double zero plus 81 or directly this 81 in the place of 00. After addition, you will get the same 11881. So, this is the answer. That means 11,881 is the square of 109. I hope you have found these two formula are very easy to find out. Square of any number. Please subscribe my channel to get more such type of videos. Share with your friends and do support. I will meet you in the next video with the more information. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.